Hey, feel confused about key differences between Salesforce profiles, permission sets and roles? Get ready, this video will walk you through all these concepts with hands-on examples. My name is Nikita and I am Salesforce developer at Anway. We help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. Alright, let's start with profiles. In Salesforce, a profile is a collection of settings and permissions that determine what user can do within the platform. We can say that it's a basis for user access. When you create a new user in Salesforce, you must assign them a profile. One user can have only one assigned profile. There is a golden security rule that basically says people should only have the minimum access required to get their work done. No extra fancy privileges or anything. These profiles control everything from objects and fields permissions to page layouts, record types and more than 15 app settings. Object permissions include four bases actions that users can do – read, create, edit and delete. For example, you might have a sales manager profile that gives the ability to create read and edit records in the lead object, but not to delete them. Here is a hands-on example. Here we can see some standard profiles. To find them, you need to go to Setup, type Profiles in the Quick Find box and click on it. Here is a standard user profile. You can see we can modify the profile as we need. For example, we can change access for our objects and its records. Also, we can change access for its fields. Now, let's try to create our own profile. For it, we can click Clone or New buttons. When we click New, we will need to choose a profile to clone. Then, we name it and click Save. Here is our new custom profile. We can modify it as we desire. Now, let's assign a user to this profile. Let's go to the user tab. We we'll find necessary user. Click Edit to change their profile. Pick necessary profile and save. Now you can see that our profile has a new user. Then we have permission sets. Think of this as additional layers of permissions that can be assigned to users on top of their existing profiles. They allow you to grant customized access without changing a user profile. For instance, let's say you have a marketing specialist who has a standard profile with basic access to marketing data. However, they need temporary access to a custom campaign performance report. You can create a permission set and assign it to the user to grant them access to the report without changing their profile. Now let's see it in practice. To configure the permission set, we need to open the setup, enter the permission set and input find box and click on permission set. We see standard and custom permission sets. We can create a new one by cloning it from the old one. It is convenient when we want to include the settings of one of the permission sets in our new permission set or create a completely new one. We will create a new set. For this, we click on the button New and enter the name of new permission set. Also, here we can choose the license. If we choose a particular license, this permission set will also be assigned to all users with this license. Click Save. Now we can modify the permission set as the particular task required us. We can give access to the objects and its fields, to Visual Force pages, flow and system features, like Setup button and so on. Let's give access to the lead objects. We can give access to create, delete and modify records in this object. Also, we need to give access to fields. We can give access only for reading or reading and writing. Let's give full access to the object and its fields and save it. Then we can assign our permission set to the user. I am selecting test user here and process next. 
In the next window, we can configure for how long this user will have this permission, if necessary, and assign. Wonderful! We created the permission set and added it to the user. And finally, roles. Roles in Salesforce are all about hierarchy and data visibility. So, unlike profiles, roles are responsible for what users see in the org. They tie into the organizational structure and define the level of access users have to the data that they don't own. For example, if you are a regional sales manager, your role might grant access to data owned by sales reps in your region. You could view and report on the data to gain insight and help guide their efforts. Let's see how it works. To configure the role, we need to open the setup, enter roles and quick find box and click on them. Here we can see standard system roles that are enough for most positions in the company and the tree of the roles in that show the subordination. We can also create our own roles and assign them to users. For this, you click on the place you need and a role and enter the name of the role. Here we can also change our boss. Click the save button. OK. Here we can edit the role, delete it or add a role user. As you can see, we have added a new role to our company. Then we go to a pre-created test user, where we select our new role for them and save. But we can select a user in another way. For that, click on the assign button. Here we can use all users to whom we want to add this role. To sum it up, profiles define the basics. Permission sets add extra abilities. Roles shape the organizational hierarchy. Have issues with the administration of your Salesforce org? Envy has got your back. Reach out to us via the link in the description. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Salesforce insights, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.